project is a custom brand experience for Evian during the uh, Wimbledon tournament. We're in Corp 1 at Wimbledon. As you can see, it's quite empty at the moment, which is a bit different to what it'll be in a few weeks' time. We are about um, 20 metres away from the suite sitting here, I think. It's a prime location. Behind me is obviously Centre Court that's just being rebuilt at the moment. Down here is Church Road. And uh, in the mornings when you look on the news, you get all the people camping out overnight and queuing for their tickets. They'll be looking up, wondering what this uh, space is. Jam's specialism in creating global brand experiences is obviously something that Evian had seen and thought, yes, they're the guys that can create something that is truly different. So we're in Sweet K. It's, um, it's 9 o'clock in the morning on 28. This morning the bill has come to sight and we begin the transformation of what is going to be the Evian brand experience. It's a blank canvas. It's really boring, as you can see, there's nothing in there. You've got a brand new carpet, you've got fitted ceilings. This is a finished space to some people's description. So we began to look at how can you affect the architecture, the flow of the space. If you walk along that corridor and look at other suites in there, um, they're all quite run of the mill. Every hour place your bar is going to be something completely different. My role on Evian is basically to take Jam's design and to implement it. Every nut and bolt. There's no moving the uh, Wimbledon date. We actually have to be off site having done all of the major building work four weeks yeah, from today. So this will be our entrance door. When we walk in, um, this is obviously quite a dark area. So you can't see the room from here. It's only when you turn the corner that you get the kind of first vista of the space in all its glory. Hopefully it'll feel like a breath of fresh air as if you just kind of come from this place you weren't quite sure about. Hopefully when you walk out here it is like, you know, a bit breathtaking, very light and it's as if you've just reached the top of the mountain, the kind of peace. These are our visuals of the space. The idea is to have this kind of glacial effect, these beautiful kind of luminous um, tables that sit together. It's great to see how it's kind of, you know, from our studio to see it in here on the walls and, and now to go in the workshop and see it would be great. They look great, don't they? We're at um, 2D, 3D's warehouse kind of factory in, uh, near Wembley. We developed two shapes of table that could sit together. We can really change them around and reconfigure them so you have celebrities in one day, so perhaps they're kind of just walking around, whereas the executives come in and they want a big meeting table. Maybe you have ten of these things together. I mean, these were a worry because the lead time, such a short time frame and such a fast-paced project. It's intense, but it's great. I'm currently putting the seam allowance on a pattern. It's basically a five and a half by two and a half meter fabric wall. What I did was suggested a way in which it could be made. Knocked up a couple of sort of small samples. They uh, looked at it, decided how it was going to fit in with the rest of the installation. I said, go on in. <laughs> so here I am on a Sunday morning. I just hope it's not too big or too small because there's a fixed size wall we've got to fit it to. <laughs> You know what it's like, something goes wrong. Today was meant to be our last day for the contractors to be on site and I only found out yesterday that we're running um, behind so they're going to still be here on Monday. Kind of things are running into each other now, the furniture's arriving today and there's nowhere to put it and then the issue of dust being as half the floor has still got to be laid and don't really want to be cleaning our furniture when it's just arrived. I only thought it was going to be two days late, which would bring it to 
tomorrow. So is it you? Should I be talking to Tim or anyone? Okay, but uh, you understand that they were meant to be delivered two days, like yesterday, but they're not finished. You're telling me that Tim won't know you know. But it was him who told me that we were running two days late. And you said, I'll look into it. Can you let me know today? Okay, bye-bye. Absolutely unbelievable. I, I just wanted to let you know, yeah, hold delivery just because we're running out of space. To see something built so quickly is just amazing kind of compared to things I've done in the past which, you know, haven't got built because of various reasons and you've worked on it for months and months. This is kind of something we've got to do it or we're not going to have a suite. It's more just about detailing it, I think, at this stage and just getting it right. It's obviously quite a big concave wall and ultimately trying to get the bias on the material to fit around this caused us quite a few issues. The big problem is getting an exact measurement for that vacuum plate. So we decided to take it down and we've gone with this very subliminal mountain vector line because everything is very clean and pristine and quite bold and brave. Something as soft as that fabric wall didn't really fit into the space. Ultimately, you have to make quick decisions that are going to make the, the space come together. So when people leave the suite, they grab one of these bottles on the way out so they can take it with them to watch the tennis. Where they're pockets, you put the bottle in that way round, and where these caps come out, this becomes a mountain. We arrived this morning and all the tables were laid out and all the chairs. Well, we were just like, oh, kind of blown away a bit. It was a good reaction though. It's a bit nerve wracking having Phil and Jamie here, yeah. I couldn't stop smiling when I walked in, so I was hoping it would have the same effect on them. actually took the journey that one would take as, a, as, a, as an Evian guest. You think that you're going into a very moody environment and then you break out into here, which is almost glaring, a little bit like you'd expect from the top of a glacier. There's a naivety and a purity and a playfulness, all of which are absolutely right for describing the Evian brand. You know, it's how we imagined it, it's how we designed it, it's great, what can I say, it's lovely. I'd move in. Some bits are exactly how I thought there'd be, and others a pleasant surprise. This feels so light and airy. The, the wallpaper, I think it's... Your eyes go a bit funny on it. I think it's, a, I think it's really, really very cool. The next thing I'm really looking forward to is seeing people in it. I, I can't wait to see, to see reactions from our, our guests for the fortnight. Says Evian, well, definitely. This space is designed to inspire and surprise, and I think that uh, it certainly does both of those things. I love it. It's just it's brilliant. It's so different to your traditional hospitality suite. I'm not at the All England Club anymore. I'm in some sort of uber cool bar hangout somewhere in the Alps. The nicest compliment we can have is that uh, people like the All England Club and are showcasing this as their favourite suite to potential sponsors. This is great marketing. Thank you.